I'm going to be putting out a video every day next week, just kind of outlining my first week as a working PA. What's up you guys, it's Adana, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who have been rolling with me from the beginning um, on this journey, you guys, I have some exciting news for you all. But if you are new to my channel, I first wanna welcome you. Thank you so much for joining me today. You're gonna get to take part of this amazing news as well. So you guys, it's been a long journey, um, a very long journey filled with ups and downs, but we have made it. Your girl has got her first job. So excited, you guys. Now, I've actually had um, this job offer since the end of February, but um, I've just been like working through the whole credentialing process and stuff. And I will talk to you guys about that in another video because that's a whole nother beast. But um, with everything that has just been going on, I wanted to wait until all of the ink was signed and dried on the paper so that there's no like take backsies or anything like that, no psychs you don't really have a job type of situation. But it is official. I am officially an, a hired physician assistant um, at a hospital and I'm really excited and I'm also kind of nervous. So I am going to be, drum roll please. <laughs> I'm going to be a trauma PA and I'll be cross-trained in general surgery. So I'm part of the acute care team. That's how our hospital has it. And we'll be both, you know, trauma gen surge PAs. So I'm really excited because I get to work 24 hour shifts. You guys know I love that shift because I love to have the time with my family. So it worked out really great for me um, that I was able to do that. I'm actually doing it at a hospital that I did my rotation at. So that is an indicator for you all that are still currently like in your PA journey, like as a student to build those bridges, make sure that you're actually like, you know, doing well on these rotations because when you're looking for a job, that might be one of the places that might be looking to hire. But I was really excited. It was just a seamless process. And honestly, you guys, I couldn't have asked for the bet, like a better position um, and a better job and workplace, like seemingly so obviously, um, cause I haven't started yet. I start tomorrow. <laughs> Um, but yeah, seemingly so I couldn't have asked for a better position um, for my first job. I'm really excited about the possibilities um, and all of the various different procedures that I will be able to be if, like proficient in and just like a really amazing PA. So I'm really, that's like my, all of my excitement part, right? But if I can be extremely like just transparent and honest with you guys, I'm pretty kind of like nervous as as well. I wouldn't say that I'm fearful because, you know, like fear does not own me, right? So I'm not having fear write this story of the amazingness that God has done for me. But at the same time, I'm really nervous just because of the climate that we're in. As a trauma PA, I will be in the ED, I will be in the ICU, I will be on the floor, um, and I'm dealing with like these patients or being in an area with patients that have the coronavirus. And, you know, I have to take all of this into consideration because I have a family that I go to home to, you know, at the end of my shift, and I wanna make sure that they're safe as well as myself. And so just taking all of that and keeping all of that in mind, it is it is pretty kind of nerve wracking that I'm going to literally be like in the lion's den, I guess you could say. Um, but I know that God has me covered and um, I'm gonna take every precaution, but I want to absolutely share that with you guys. So. If you guys like have just listened to everything and heard that I'm a Trump PA, I am going to be putting out a video every day next week, just kind of outlining my first week as a trauma PA, um, my first week as a working PA. Um, I'm gonna be giving you just kind of a recap of every day that, that I've worked thus far. So stay tuned for that. Come back on Sunday. That's when the first video will drop. Um, and then every day after that. Guys, also just pray for me, okay? Uh, Cause I am, I'm literally like a baby PA, so I'm gonna be taking everything in. Uh, I just don't wanna like make too many mistakes because I know I'm obviously gonna make like some mistakes. You're a new grad, but i um, really excited. I could not wait to share this with you guys. I've been like holding this in in every video that I've been doing like prior to this. I'm like, man, like I wanna tell them, but again, like I said, I didn't want to like put 
the horse before the cart. So now that everything is done, your girl is a trauma PA. I will be getting cross-trained in general surgery. I will be talking to you guys about my experiences in this particular specialty. And I can't wait to share this new journey with you guys. So please join me as we go through um, me actually being a certified physician assistant. Um, if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this long, hard, rock journey through PA school, um, graduating PA school, taking my boards and passing, well, failing and then passing, and then now officially being a hired physician assistant in trauma. So glad um, I could share this with you guys and I'm so grateful for all of you that have given me these encouraging words. Um, if you have... <laughs> hold on, 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 hold on. Sorry, man, I had to stop you guys. What? Because you're not, I, there's more that they need to know. There's more that they need to know. Let me go with, on the side. With respect to what? What are you talking about? Hold on, hold about? on, you get my light. I'm dark skinned. Okay, there you go, that's better. There's more you need to know. I know you're going to get into the words later, okay? Sorry, I was eating. Um, let them know real quick about how excited you are about being a trauma PA. A trauma, because remember, what did you, you originally, she originally wanted to be an OBGYN. Totally right? I, I, yes, I did. I Tell them about that, because okay. that's deep, that's important. What? No, See, I, what I gave y'all more about? minutes on this video. <laughs> that's what I did. Tell but, I, I, but I already ended this joint. You didn't end that Okay, fine, fine, fine. fine. All right. Is it over? No. <laughs> Do it. All right, you guys. Stop, Ant. So, yes. Yeah, so, I originally, as you guys mostly, like many of you, if you don't know, I originally wanted to be an OBGYN PA. And um, I still do. I, I, I still do. I still want to work in women's health at some point. I've told, you've seen my videos on what it was like to be a trauma PA. Um, I'm really, I, like, I don't want to, like, toot my horn or anything. But, like, I'm pretty, perf like, good at, I'm decent. Like, I'm trying to be humble, okay? So, I'm pretty decent at suturing and so this will allow me to get more of those um, suturing skills furthermore i get to get all of these other advanced skills you know like putting in central lines and chest tubes um, and doing all of those things because like arterial lines because that's not something that i would have gotten to do as an OBGYN PA. Uh, it's not something that they typically do and so i'm really excited about all of these advanced privileges that i'll be able to get but at the same time like all of the different zebras that I might see like in the general surgery when I'm taking consults or, you know, all of the various different traumas that I'm going to see because I talked to you about like some serious traumas that I was a part of when I was doing my rotations. And so I can't wait to like, again, like dive into that. That'd be my everyday job. Well, my every two day jobs, because again, I will be working 24 hours. So what that means is I'm only working two days a week, you guys. Like, can you believe that? Eight times out of the month? That's a blessing. I get to be at home with my family and at the same time work a full-time job. So I'm excited, you guys. I really am. Could not have been a better position for me. And, you know, the Lord knows what he's doing because I had my own thing in my mind, but he came through and he kind of changed that all up, flipped it upside down um, and pointed me to this particular specialty. And let me just tell you guys, like I, I, I will elaborate on this whole like job hunt uh, process uh, a little later in the future, but I literally could have been working since January if I wanted to like settle for some of the positions that I was being like soft offered earlier on. But I wanted to make sure that this was going to be the best option for me and my family. And so here comes Aunt again. What, the, what is going on? <laughs> That's too good of a story. What is going on? That's too good of a story. Don't give him the juice on that. There's oh my gosh. Don't give him the juice on that. That's a good story. You guys, she was offered like some scraps. I'm talking about like, hey, you want to work for us? We got $5 and some food stamps. No, That is no. not true. Okay. Listen, some of these job offers were some stuff, but my babe, my babe. I, did, I she held, held strong. Held strong you I guys. held strong, you guys. She <laughs> held strong, you guys. She was like, she was you tempted? I wasn't really tempted. I just wanted to make sure that I, like I wasn't tripping, you know, like when with right. what I was. Well, thinking. Stop, no, 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 no. All right, that's it. 
a new, a brand new video about that. Brand new video about it. Another day. But Another anyways, day. again, so that is it. I'm going to be a trauma PA. I'm going to be cross-trained in general surgery. So it's two specialties that I will be learning, which is cool. Um, and then I'll also be able to kind of cross-train in some of the other surgical specialties, like um, ophthalmology and vascular and things like that. Because we, urology, we kind of cover those um, at the hospital as well, because we're going to be an acute care team. So I'm excited about all of the experiences that I have yet to experience, but I'm going to do it. Um, I'm excited about the possibilities, and I'm really excited about officially having a J-O-B. <laughs> I'm so excited about that, you guys. Um, so again, please pray for me. My first day is tomorrow. I'm really nervous about that, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I am ready. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Um, come back next week when I tell you guys about my week as a trauma PA, my first week as an official PA. Um, stay tuned for everything else that I have in store. We're on this new journey, you guys, together. Again, us as friends. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe, like this video if you like it, and follow me on Instagram. I will talk to you guys next time.